Zach's Screen of the Week, an overview of a timely stock screening strategy aimed at helping you produce more profitable investing results. We're going to try screening for current ratio this time around. Let's call in Kevin Matris, head of our research wizard division at Zax.com, chief stock screener <laughs> in our ranks to fill us in on this. I don't know if we've talked about this before in our segments. If we have, it hasn't been many times. Yeah, I think we may have talked about it maybe once last year in the middle of the year. But yeah, prior to that, I don't think we ever have. All right. So let's just take it from the top. What is current ratio? Good question, Terry. I'm glad, glad he I asked. <laughs> uh, first off, the current ratio is simply another item to help gauge a company's financial health. So let's start off with a definition. All right. Current ratio is simply the current assets di divided by the current liabilities. So the higher the ratio, the better, meaning the company has more liquid assets to meet its short-term obligations. Mm -hmm. A ratio of two or more, for example, means the company has at least twice as many short-term assets than short-term liabilities and is generally considered to be good. So if you were to look at the current ratio right now for the stocks in the S&P, current ratio at the moment is 1.79. To put this into context, uh, it is off a little bit from the current ratio that we had seen in Q3 of last year. It got as high as 1.91, so that was pretty good, almost reaching that, that two threshold. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, even though it's off that high, it's also nicely off of the lows from earlier last year. I think the current ratio was as low as 1.67 at the beginning of January. So if you look at the current ratio right now, it's kind of like right smack dab in the middle of 2009's range. Now, if you were to look at which sectors have the best current ratio, the medical sector right now, they have the best current ratio with a median of 2.48, so that is excellent. Um, the finance sector still has the worst current ratio. Their current ratio has improved, but it's still at 0.98, so it's, it's well below that, that two threshold of good. Okay, so now that we know what it is, <clears throat> How do we use it? <laughs> Screening for it is actually quite easy. Uh, first off, it is a ratio. So if you were to look at any of our screeners, like the ones on Zax.com or even the Research Wizard, mm -hmm. uh, you're going to first find the ratios category, and then you're going to want to go to the liquidity and coverage section. So once you're there, you're going to find an item called current ratio. That's the one you want to look at. And again, like I said, I think looking at a current ratio above two is good, but I think one of the best ways to use the current ratio is to be able to compare the company's current ratio to the median for its industry, because each industry will have something that's considered you know, average for them. So I think comparing it to its group is a very good way to do it. And is that how you're using it this week? Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to be looking for the current ratio, we're comparing it to its industry, and we're also adding in a bunch of other lots logical items to try to find companies that have very good growth prospects, but also make sure we're finding companies that have the best of financial health. So the screen starts off by looking at companies with a Zacks rank of less than or equal to two. Mm -hmm. So only companies that have strong buys or buys can get through. Then we want to see the current ratio be greater than the median for its respective X industry. Like we said earlier, we want to find companies with the strongest liquid positions to meet their short-term financial goals, right? Mm -hmm. Then we want to have the current ratio be greater than two. So it's one thing having the current ratio be better than the median for its industry. We still want to be above that magical threshold of two. Then we want to make sure that the projected growth rate is also greater than the median for its industry, trying to find the best companies within their groups. Also, too, we want to make sure that growth rate is greater than zero. So if, let's say, a, a group's growth rate was actually negative, companies not going to get through. So it has to be greater than the industry, but also has to be positive. And then we're applying all of these things to companies with a price of greater than five, and the average volume has to be greater than 100,000 shares traded on a daily basis. Give us a few stocks that came through. Yeah, I think there was about, um, I think there was like maybe 40 stocks that came through. Here's five of them. We've got uh, Align Technology, Amerigon, Guess, Gentiva Health Services, and then Universal Holding. And again, as I said, medical, the medical sector, that is one of the, uh, the best areas. But these are five great companies, and what they all have in common is they all have a great Zacks rank, they all have good growth rates, but they all have very, very attractive financial positions. Do you own any? I do have Amerigon. All right. 
Check out the text version of this week's Screen of the Week on our homepage at Zax.com. You can link to it from there anyway. When you scroll down and see Kevin's picture, you just hit that live link right next to it. That's the current version of this video uh, installment in text form. And if you want to check out the Research Wizard and find out more about that, that's the tool Kevin uses to achieve all these screens. Zax.com forward slash Research Wizard is where you should go. With Kevin Matris and the Screen of the Week, I'm Terry Ruffalo.